Well, some things have changed. Uh, the uh, 944 sold. So uh, that happened over the weekend. Um, so I moved the Jeep forward a little bit so that I could uh, work on it. So my neighbor is going to help me by dropping the transmission and doing the clutch for me. I have all the parts. Uh, so he's going to do that part, but um, I've cut the hospital cast off and got me a one where I can use my fingers a little bit better. So I'm going to try to accomplish a few light projects. Um, so tomorrow I'm going to try to get out here and get the shocks done because I have new shocks that came in for it. I'm going to go ahead and get those swapped out. I should be able to do those with an impact in one hand. I should be able to knock those out fairly easy. Um, I need to drop the drive shafts for my neighbor. That way it's just one less thing he has to do. I should be able to do that with one hand. Um, I'm going to drop the exhaust. I ordered a California legal um, he header for this for the 2.5 um, so that's coming in um, I'm probably going to end up replacing the entire exhaust it looks like Crown makes a factory replacement with the cat if not um, I'll have to go take this over to a smog shop and have them build me exhaust I'm not sure which is going to be more cost effective but right now I'm going to drop the stock one because it's pretty boogered up in there so I believe I should be able to change the shocks and drop the the drive shafts out for my neighbor. Um, I don't know if I can get the linkage out for the transfer case, no problem. That should be fairly one-handed. Not sure if I will be able to do the removal of the um, shifter because you have to push and twist, and I don't have much twisting capability because my wrist is kind of stuck so we'll see what that's like but uh yeah it's been about two weeks now i'm still waiting to hear from the surgeon to see when they're going to get in um, to have the bone fragment removed so that i can actually gain full access um, but i did order new brake lines um, because this is still running the factory brake lines and this is a four inch lift so I got the braided uh, brake lines front and rear I also ordered a braided clutch line so it goes from the clutch master down to the slave on the transmission um, just because this is let's see a 92 so it's I don't even know how many years old that is at this point like what 30 something so we'll go ahead and swap that out because I did buy a clutch master because i'm just going to replace everything so might as well do that too so those will come in but the, that stuff can be done later um, i did order a flywheel because i wasn't sure what this flywheel was going to look like and i didn't want to tie my neighbor up for more than a couple of days um, so he didn't have to mess with that so this is just a quick little update um, so tomorrow i should have some video of some upgrades the shocks and whatnot so we'll see how it goes and if i can't uh do it well at least i tried but uh i've been bored here the last couple of weeks um not really being able to do much so wish me luck all right thanks for watching and here's a quick picture of my neighbor's jeep that's one of the two that's his other one with his cat up there on top so yeah, they've got two. That's a 94. His other one's a 92, like mine. Um, both of his are hard tops. Um, both of his are six cylinders. Um, just so happens. And then my neighbor on the other side has a CJ, and I believe it's a, I think it's a 65, um, if I remember correctly. Um, it's sitting in his backyard. So yeah, a lot of Jeeps in my neighborhood. But, uh, yeah. All right. Let's uh, hope for the best tomorrow.